Okay, so the topic of this video is going to be about my last video. It was the Aiken Gump and Palantir video that somewhat went viral, at least for my channel, it somewhat went viral. In a 24 hour span, that collected 40 clicks, 40 views. Okay? And the number one video on my channel is the Why is Westlaw so expensive video. That video is six months old and it has about 85 views. Okay? So, four, six months old, 85 views, 24 hours old, 40 views. That Palantir video shot up to number two on my channel in terms of most watched in a 24 hour span, which to me was a little bit mind boggling. Like now I, I, I kind of understand what a lot of people who kind of sort of go viral, like uh, they can't wrap their head around it. Like it's a little bit mind boggling to me now. Okay, so I'm going to be looking at these stats along with you. So please excuse me if I'm kind of looking down. I want to make sure that I, I know what I'm looking at. And um, uh, I mean, look at that, look at that block, look at that block of views. I mean, you can't, you can't ignore that. I mean, you could quite literally see that spike in watch time right down there. Okay. Look at this spike, this spike in impressions. I mean, 1,166 impressions. Okay, where is this all coming from? Well, the search terms that people were looking for, it's not that the algorithm was pushing it out. It is more that people were searching for Palantir, Palantir Technologies, and Palantir News. Now, this is not a Palantir channel. This is more of a legal news, legal technology channel. Uh, Aiken Gump is doing something with Palantir, and that's where the clicks came from. People are lurking, looking for Palantir. So if I take a side step here, that Palantir video, it really didn't take me a ton of time to put together. It was really a run and gun kind of thing. Like this angle that you're seeing right here, this is my run and gun angle. I have an idea, I slap all of this together, and then I just shoot, and even the editing for that Palantir video, really rough. Just chopped out the bits of silence, and I posted it. And then it shot up to number two on my channel. So then this really makes you wonder, it's like, okay, what am I going to do from here on out? Because even the, the, the why is Westlaw so expensive um, video, that's a great video. It gets about two to three clicks a week, and that's considered to be evergreen content. Now, for me, um, let's take another sidestep here. I come from a professional editorial background, okay? And there's stuff like that that you, that you publish. You know it's going to, it's like a slow burner. It's evergreen content. It's always going to get clicks, and that, you know, there's a place for that. And then there's trending topics that have a short shelf life, but are going to collect a lot of clicks in a short amount of time. So for this YouTube channel, it really kind of makes me wonder. It's like, what direction am I going to go in? Like, obviously, I want to have, if I'm going to put time into these videos, which this video, this setup takes 30 minutes to set up this shot. The other shot from the other angle, like the Why is West Law So Expensive video, that one takes probably a week. Like, all said and done, research, typing, writing, setting up equipment and all that stuff, it takes about a week to do all that. Editing. So then it really makes you wonder, it's like, okay, as like a business owner, I own this channel, what am I going to do here? Okay? And then here's a snapshot. And here is a snapshot of the analytics from 48 hours later. I mean, look at that, look at that spike in impressions. I mean, look at, look at that compared to the rest of the impressions. That is a mountain that has to be acknowledged. Like I have to acknowledge that as the owner of this channel, I have to acknowledge that. 
that's just nuts. I mean, that's just nuts. Uh, I also want to kind of footnote here that this was also the first video that I published that got a dislike. Now, I would assume that it's probably because someone came in looking for Palantir news and then they got kind of like legal news on a channel called Law Product Review. Um, and then they hit the dislike button. So, okay, you know, that's fine. Um, that's totally fine. And then I also want to say to kind of provide balance to the force. Someone came in later and then provided one like, so it all cancels out in the end. Um, but I just want to note that, like, I got my first dislike. Okay, you know, it doesn't matter to me, but I just kind of want to note it, like, this is when it happened. Okay. My name is Steve with Law Product Review. Thanks for watching. Remember, don't share passwords.